Good morning, guys. Uh, we are going to be beginning Unit 3 today. And Unit 3 comprises of indicators 7 through 11. And so um, I'm going ahead and doing indicator 7 now. Um, as you can see, our learning target, um, I can write algebraic expressions when given a phrase. So you'll be provided a phrase and you have got to convert it into an expression. So that is why we're going to talk about the difference between an expression and an equation because later on you will have to write an equation. So there's a big difference between the two. Actually, there's a minor difference, but it can make it into a very big difference if you don't write it properly. Okay. So there are certain key terms to remember when we get a phrase um, as to what computation is being asked of you. And computation means uh, what operation are you performing? So remember we talked about operations before, PEMDAS. Uh, so basically uh, when we are writing an algebraic expression, uh, there are four different operations that we are going to work on right now. Uh, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we know that the answer to an addition problem is called sum. Answer to a subtraction problem is difference. Um, answer to a multiplication problem is product. And answer to a division problem is quotient. Um, but you also need to know what are the other terms to look for um, in order to know that the phrase is addition or subtraction or multiplication or division because sometimes it's not going to be so downright straightforward that you are given um, you know some difference product quotient written over there so you've got to identify or learn how to identify what it is. So let's go over some key terms that you could see, uh, which tells you that it is addition, okay? So um, for addition, of course, you will see sum, okay? So this is one. Um, you might see added two. You might see added two. All right, something added to something. So you know that addition is going on. You might see plus. Um, you might see um, more than, something more than another number, okay? Increased by, increased by, uh, total. Also, and, so these are just some key terms to help you identify uh, just so that you know whether it is addition, okay? So if you see any of these, if you see sum of three and eight, uh, you know that you are adding three and eight. If I say seven is added to five, so then you know it's five plus seven. Plus, you already know, means addition. Uh, more than, because you're finding something more than a number, so therefore that is addition. Uh, then you have increased by. Again, you're increasing something, so you are adding. A total always means that you are calculating uh, the addition, by addition, both the numbers or three numbers, four numbers, whatever is provided to you, so that gives you a total. Or if you say that this uh, number and this number, uh, you know, or another, you know, this number and another number. So that's basically telling you that you are adding. So when we are going to solve the problems just now, when you're given a phrase and you have to write an algebraic expression, remember these are all the things in which we have addition. You can also say combined. Um, that's another term which can also tell you that it is addition when I say combined. Um, and then in all or both. So all, there's so many things that we can say that tells us it's addition. Um, you know, so these are just things that are coming to my mind right now. Um, but all of these tell you that there is addition in a uh, problem going on. Okay, so let's talk about uh, what happens, uh, what are the terms to look for when it is subtraction, 
okay? All right. <clears throat> so subtraction, uh, these are the key terms to look for. Uh, we've already said that the answer to uh, subtraction problem, uh, difference is definitely one. All right. Um, subtracted from, if that word is right there, okay, subtracted from, um, minus, we always say eight minus three or something, so that is another term. Um, less than, because on the other side we had said more than, so when subtraction means you are making the number smaller, you're removing it, so less than, or decreased by, decreased by, or you can say um, fewer than, since on the other one it was more than, over here it will be fewer than, because um, this is subtraction, and then to take away something, take away, okay? So since uh, subtraction is the opposite of addition, so these are the key terms to look at. Um, so the difference of something, so this is a number subtracted from another one, minus, less than, decreased by, fewer than, you take away a number, um, or let's say I uh, say, you know, this remains. Uh, so when I see these kind of words, I know that it is subtraction. Um, also, I could say how many are left. Um, you know, you hear that also some, sometimes, okay. Um, how many left. Uh, this also signifies subtraction. So these are all the words uh, that are telling you that this problem is going to have subtraction when you're looking at a phrase, okay? Um, let's look at multiplication. We know that multiplication is definitely product uh, because that is the answer to a multiplication problem. Uh, we also know uh, that multiplication um, is repeated addition. So multiplication. So let's see what are the key terms. So we said product. That's the answer to a multiplication problem. Uh, you can also say uh, multiplied by. And times something times another number tells you it's multiplication of please remember these ones these are very important of is a term which tells you that uh, if I say 24% of um, 90 the of signifies that it is multiplication okay um, another factor uh, not factor another a word that you really there are two words actually which you've really got to know because you will find it and if you don't know what that term means you won't understand its multiplication so we have twice and we have thrice you've got to know what these two mean okay twice the number means uh, any anything times two, so two times a number. Two times a number is twice. So if I say uh, twice five, it would be 10, because two times five gives me 10. So you should know what twice means, and if twice is two times, thrice is three times, okay? So this is another multiplication term you've got to know. So thrice means two times, uh, three times a number. Thrice means three times a number. And twice means two times a number. So these are a lot of words which um, mean it's multiplication. Um, and that's all I can think of right now. Um, Yes, 
So we've got product multiplied by times of, uh, we've got twice, we've got thrice. Uh, so this of, um, of twice and thrice are essential. Of course, you've got no product. Please do not confuse product with quotient. Okay. And then um, the last one, division, so that you should know as to <clears throat> what signifies division. <clears throat> so for division, um, of course, the first one we know answer to a division problem is quotient. Okay. Then you might hear uh, something divided by something else. So divided by is division. All right. Um, if you hear how many in each, how many in each, if you hear something uh, cut up, all right. Um, then if you hear uh, separated, um, or you could also say shared, um, that's, so we can say separated, let me put separated first because that also signifies division, and then shared equally, And I always joke with my sixth grade students when they come, this is one thing sixth grade is really not good at is sharing equally, okay? And most of you are, I'm just kidding, all right? But sharing is caring, so sharing anyway is division, okay? Uh, if you're sharing a pizza, you're actually dividing it among so many people when you are eating it, okay? So quotient divided by um, how many in each, um, you're cutting up something uh, when it's separated, um, when it's shared equally. Uh, so these are all terms to look at when we are saying division. All right. So now that you know the key terms, let's go on into writing, um, uh, you know, an algebraic expression when given a phrase. Okay. So. <clears throat> I am just going to write up uh, a couple of phrases. So if I say um, 34 divided by 2, okay? If I say um, 35 increased by four um, if I say um, let's see let's pull up some problems the product of 30 and 9 maybe okay the product of 30 and 9. So uh, let's do these three first. And what I would suggest when you are doing this is to pull up three different markers. Okay, because it always, always helps to color coordinate. All right. So we are looking at a couple of things here. The first thing, what are we dividing by what? So I can always take 34. So this is one color is being divided by. And then we have two. Okay. So if I have these three colors, let me see if I can get another one, which is a little better than that brown, which you can't really see too well. Okay. So here we go by two. Okay, so once I have this, um, I'm going to write this into an expression. Now let's quickly talk about what is the different difference between an expression and an equation. Okay, so when I say expression, it does not, does not have the equal to sign. Okay, so if I write, um, 3 plus 8, 
That is an expression. Okay? Now, if I write 3 plus 8, now look at the key term that makes it an equation. Is equal to, because equation, so therefore equal to, this gives me 11. So when it's written out like this, with an equal to sign, it becomes an equation. But when you're writing an expression, you are not putting an equal to sign over there. An algebraic expression would be something like um, 5 minus z. So anything with a number and a variable makes it an algebraic expression. Please don't write is equal to because that will make it into an equation. For multiplication, uh, you don't have to write um, x times 4. That's not how it is written. In multiplication, the coefficient always comes before the variable, and we had talked about this. Um, in fact, indicator 8 is all about that. Okay, so in multiplication, we will not write it um, like x times 4. All we write is 4x because that automatically means that it is multiplication. 4x means 4 times x. So these are all uh, expressions, okay? So now, remember once again, do not put the equal to sign because this lesson is all about expressions, okay? So if I say uh, 34 divided by two, we are looking at 34 is the number divided by you can either write it like this, or you can show it with a slash, and I'll show you in a minute. So 34 divided by 2. So here is my expression, clear and simple written out. I can also write it like this. 34 divided by 2. Because please remember that we had talked, when we talked about fractions, I told you that the fraction sign signifies division. So either you can write it like this or you can write it like that. Okay, now let's look at the next one. And my three parts are 35 increased, okay, increased by four, okay? So if I'm saying increased, first and foremost, I bring down this, and I bring down the other number. And then when it's saying increased, we had talked about the key phrase uh, words for these. Increased means you are adding more, so it is addition, okay? So here we go, 34 plus four, you write it like that, and that's it. Once again, don't put is equal to whatever. We're not asking for a solution. You're only writing an expression. Don't write a solution. Don't write is equal to something. You will get it wrong because we are not talking about equations right now. Okay? So, next one. Um, so, we have over here uh, the product. Okay? So, we have product um, of, um, we have 30 and nine, okay? So, um, even though we had said earlier, um, and can sometimes be used for addition, please read the entire uh, phrase, because the keyword right now is the defining factor, which is product. So, if a product of two numbers, so th that's why they have put the end in between, okay? So, uh, be careful how you are utilizing it. Now we know that product means what? Multiplication. So we are going to put the multiplication sign and the product is of the two numbers and that's where the end is connecting it, all right? So we have 30 times nine. So here is my expression written out, clear and simple, all right? Um, uh, there's one that I really want to show you because this is the one where you make mistakes. Um, all right, so if I give you a problem that says eight fewer than 
21. Okay, so here's my thing. Very often what kids do because they see fear and you know that fear means subtraction, they go straight up without thinking and they write eight minus 21. Now that is incorrect. Wherever I have than, wherever I have than, I would, of course fewer means subtraction, but wherever I have a than, I want you to triple underline the than so you do not make mistakes. Triple underline the than, okay? Because this than is going to tell you that the first number is going to go to the end and the last number is going to come to the front. So that then is the keyword that the two numbers will be switched. Okay? And so now we have, this is going to go to the end. This is going to go to the front. So that means 21. Fewer than means minus eight. So be very careful on these ones. Once again, once again, anything where I see a then, triple underline the then, and then switch the numbers. The one in the front goes to the end, and the one in, at the end goes to the front. So the order changes. And as you can see, this becomes 21 minus eight. So be careful with these problems, okay? Um, let's just do a few with uh, some algebraic ones. Um, all right, so let's say uh, now we are going to substitute uh, numbers with variables, okay? So, let's do a few problems. Uh, number Y. minus 75. All right. Um, the quotient of 3 and a number Z. 14 more than a number x. All right, so these are all your phrases. And now you can see only difference over here is called an algebraic uh, expression because now we have a number and we have a variable, okay? So uh, again, we're gonna break it into three parts, all right? Um, it says a number y minus 75. So here is your first part because it's a number that is y, okay? The second part is minus and the third part is 75, okay? So y minus 75, and there's your algebraic expression, okay? Um, let's look at the next one. It says the quotient, and we know that quotient means division, answer to a division problem, okay? Of three and a number z. Okay, of three and a number Z. So we are going to write it out as three divided by Z. So either you can write it like this, or as I told you before, you can write it in fraction form. It means the same thing. You can write like this, three divided by Z, or three divided by Z. All of these mean the same thing. The slash also means division because it's like a form of writing fraction, okay? Now, let's look at the next one. So first thing I can go ahead and do is 14 and 
more than a number x so this is my other number now comes the part what i said more than so remember i said triple underline the than and that tells you that the x will come here to the front and the 14 will go to the end 14 will go to the end okay so now when we write it out uh, we are going to write x uh, which comes to the front so we are going to write more means addition and then we have 14 okay now even though you're like uh, you know miss joshi uh, x plus 14 is the same thing as 14 plus x because addition has commutative property all that's fine and dandy but when we are writing an algebraic expression um, and you don't know the value of x and it says that you are 14 years older than x uh, and you know so in in a situation like that you've got you know there are a lot of uh, world problems will be solving uh, where the order is important how you write it so that is why uh, you know x could be anything it could be three it could be four it could be five it could be six it could be 40 uh, and then you uh, you are 14 more so then you have to add that 14 at the end um, and you know when we get more in depth into this you will understand why the order is so important okay so these are the ways to write an algebraic expression um let me try uh, to show you one so you don't make a mistake and this is a common one also so i'm just going to write it over here okay so if you're given uh twice a number W. Okay, or oh, you're given thrice a number x plus um, eight. So let me show you this. Uh, this is the one where we cannot go wrong. Uh, so we have twice, which we talked about in multiplication, what twice and thrice mean. And twice means two times a number. Okay. And then our number here is W. So please do not write it like this. Do not, do not do this. There is no reason. Because two times W you don't have to write this. All you do is, the correct way is 2w. And that is your answer. Because 2w means it's 2 times w. Okay? So, all you have to do is write the coefficient and the variable. If it's saying twice, it means 2 times w. And this is how it is written. Okay? Same thing if I have thrice a number um thrice a number uh x all right uh plus eight okay so thrice a number x plus eight so in this all i'm doing Thrice means three times. So thrice a number x means three times x, which we are just going to write like this. Three x. That's it, because three x means three times x. Please don't put the times in the middle. There's no reason to. Uh, always in algebra, it's written like this. The coefficient, which is three, is written before the variable, which is any letter in the alphabet. So 3x, and then we have plus, and then we have 8. Okay, so these are the different ways of writing 
um, expressions, algebraic expressions. Uh, remember the keywords. Uh, remember the difference between equation and expression. It is essential, crucially uh, important that you do not put the equal to sign because we're talking about expressions. All right, guys, have a nice day.